Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, what we're going to do is we're going to hot rod a set of JBL JRX 115s. How are we going to do this? We're going to do it using brand new horn drivers. And uh, here, we're going to pause for a minute and explain that to you. Now, I know you can't see this very well, but this is the email I got from Sleeper Awaken 36 probably about two weeks ago. And here he's telling me that these drivers are called Selenium D210 Ti's. And the stock JBL horn drivers have a frequency response of 50 hertz to 12.5 kilohertz, plus minus three decibels. Where the new drivers, the Selenium drivers, have a frequency response of 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz, plus minus three decibels, giving you a lot better top end with less power to get there. Now I'm just taking his recommendation on this and we're going with it. These drivers are on sale right now at PartsExpress.com for 31 bucks. They're normally a lot more. Uh, they're normally, I don't know, I think it said like 69 or something like that. So you can get two for the price of one essentially if you act quick, if it's something you're interested in. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to leave the speakers at this level. And let's just listen to them with the stock drivers. Okay, let's go ahead and swap these out. Okay, the first thing we got to do is remove the grill. There are little screws all the way around the grill, all the way around the front of the speaker. Let's go ahead and pop those out. That way we can get to our horn. Okay, there are four screws on each side of the grill. Now that the screws are removed, you can just take this grill right off and expose your horn and woofer to the world. Now we have to take the horn out. Okay, now I've got all the screws out. I just pull the horn right out of its hole here. Now let's pay close attention. Take off these wires so you can get it all the way out. Come on, you can do it being stubborn. There we go. Okay, we've pulled those wires. And here's our horn. Now if you look up here, this little guy right here says JBL on it. Uh, this is the stock JBL driver. We're going to replace that today. All you have to do is unscrew it. Right there. See, it's even threaded. All we're left with is a useless plastic bit here. It's only useful if you screw a driver back on. So let's get our driver out. Our new drivers out. Here are the new drivers. They're seleniums. We're going to pull those out of the box. These are supposed to be a vast improvement from the JBL drivers. Now already, this I can tell you, this is a much heavier driver by far. Here, look at this. Here's the stock driver. Here's the new driver. Significantly larger. We're definitely doing a hot rod upgrade here. Now all we have to do to install this is take this cap off screw it in. Like so. Okay, I've taken the ends off of these wires. We have a solid yellow that's positive, a striped yellow that is negative. Now all we should have to do is push these little guys down, stick the wire through, release. You can see they're, I don't know if I showed that to you or not, but if you look real close, they're just spring-loaded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the wire in through the top and then let it come down. Then all I have to do is drop these suckers back in, screw everything, put everything back together, and uh, we're rocking and rolling. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that right now. Push down, put the wire in through the top, and release. Push down, wire through the top. Yep, let's give it a bit of a twist here, a bit more of a twist. Let's 
There we go. Push down wire feed through the top and release. There we go. Now all we should have to do is drop these back in here, screw everything back together, and uh, give it a try. Before I do the second speaker, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the same song we were listening to at the same level we had it at, and I'm going to use the balance on the mixing board just to see if we can tell a difference. I can. I don't know if you're going to be able to on camera, but uh, yeah, let's give it a try. I'm going to press play now, and then I'm going to start messing with the balance. First the left, which is the stock JBL driver, and then the left, which is the new Selenium driver. So uh, here, check it out. Both together, and then right, and then left, and we'll go back and forth a couple times. I'll point to show you which one's on, so you can see if you can hear a difference on this camera. Here we go. Okay, this is full stop with the new Selenium drivers. I haven't tampered with any of the volumes, EQs, anything. Uh, actually, that one got tampered with a bit. Uh, <laughs> that was my fault. I bumped it. Anyhow, uh, here we go. I'm just going to play this, and let's see if we can tell the difference. I'll fade back and forth between uh, the uh, earlier video where I had the stock JBL drivers in the speakers. I think we got a winner. Sounds great. Thanks to Brady, aka Sleeper Awaken 36. Check out his stuff. I'll put a link to his YouTube site right here in the description of my video. Practice and enjoy.